Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hi, this is Kirsten from IBM Data Power Gateway Support, and today we'll be showing you how to roll back your firmware on an IBM Data Power Gateway appliance. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the supported steps to roll back your firmware from 2018-416 to the previous version before upgrade 2018-412 using both the Web GUI and CLI through SSH on a physical IDG Data Power Gateway appliance. First, let's understand what is a firmware rollback. A rollback, also known as a switch installation image or boot switch, is an action that switches from the current firmware to the previous firmware before upgrading. When completing the rollback, there are a couple of things that you should note that a lot of people get confused. One, switching to an earlier firmware version can prevent all B2B gateways from becoming operational. Two, when the platform is Docker, this feature is not available. Three, any new configuration changes will be lost once you roll back to the previous version. Therefore, we suggest to keep an updated export of your recent config. Four, Please keep track of your previously installed firmware passwords, for when you roll back, you will need to use your older password. 5. Do not delete the previously installed image unless directed by IBM support. 6. A firmware rollback and a rollback checkpoint are two different features and are not the same. And lastly, the same rollback methods in this video can also be used for major version upgrades. Let's start the rollback using our GUI. As you can see, the version is 2018-416. Please start by logging into your Data Power Gateway Appliance. You will then navigate to System Control. You always want to start by coercing the appliance. This allows the operational state of the domains, services, and handlers on the appliance to be placed in the down state in a controlled manner. Also, the timeout allows you to specify the time to wait for all transactions to complete. Once you've executed this action, be sure to wait the seconds value that you placed in the timeout field. This way that all transactions have come to a halt. Scroll up the switch installation image and press the button. A pop-up will appear saying you are about to switch the install image and not to use the appliance for any other activity while completing this. You will then confirm the action and press close. The appliance will begin processing and begin to reboot on its own. Please keep in mind that this processing time could take between 5 and 20 minutes. Within about six minutes, the page began to reload. And as you can see, my IDG appliance is now on 2018-412. Let's go over the summary steps for the GUI. Step one, log into your virtual or physical appliance. Step two, navigate from the control panel to system control. Step three, quest the appliance. Step four, Scroll up the switch installation image and click the button to begin. In step 5, confirm the action in the pop-up and the device will begin to reboot automatically. Now we will demonstrate the firmware rollback using the CLI. Begin by SSHing to your device and log in. As you can see, we are still on 2018-416. We will go into configuration mode and quest the appliance by typing appliance-quest in the timeout value. Remember to wait your timeout value before going to the next step. After your appliance has quest, type flash and boot switch. A pop-up will appear stating that you're about to switch firmware versions to an earlier firmware. You will type Y for yes and then press enter. It will then state firmware rollback successful. The device will reboot and disconnect. This could take 5 to 20 minutes. A few minutes later, try SSHing back into your device and log in. As you can see, we are now back to 2018-412. Let's summarize our steps for CLI. 
First, we SSH into the device and log in. Step two, we went into configuration mode and quiesced the appliance using appliance dash quest and entering a timeout value. Step three, we began to roll back by running the commands co, flash, and boot switch. Lastly, we waited until the device confirms the rollback successful and then data power began to reboot. These are the supported methods on how to roll back your firmware using web GUI and CLI. If you still need assistance, feel free to contact IBM Data Power Gateway Support at www.ibm.com slash my support. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.